Hey there, and welcome to Facial Features, section four. In this section, we're going to be working with teeth. All right, I've already got my images up here. Um, let's just go ahead and show you guys how to open these. We'll be going to 04 teeth images, and then these are our JPEGs. And as always, if you'd like to work with TIFFs, just go into Lightroom and export out Flirt and Retouch 3 and Flirt and Retouch 8 as TIFFs. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be doing a little bit of teeth straightening and coloring and whitening in this section. All right, let's go ahead and start off with our shape shaping here. So zooming in here, we're going to go ahead and kind of highlight some of the things that we're going to work on. It's actually going to be a relatively quick section. There's not a ton that needs to be done. Um, basically here, we want to show you guys how to straighten teeth and how to move things around. And in this case, this tooth is moved out a little bit that way and that one's moved out a little bit that way. So what we want to do is just correct that. So the easiest way to do this is with the liquify tool. So we're going to hit controller command J on our background layer. And I'm going to make a selection around the mouth. Okay, so marquee tool selection around our mouth. Next, we're going to go to filter and I'm going to go down here to liquify shift command X. Okay, now with the fil liquify filter, we're going to be using the forward warp tool, which is really the tool I use most often in uh, the liquify dialog. Now, even though these teeth are like technically rotated, there's no real way to like rotate them back. Basically, we're going to just push the top that way and pull the bottom that way. So this one gets pushed on the top that way and pulled on the bottom that way. All right. Beautiful. And then we want to go ahead and shape the teeth so they look a little bit more like standard teeth. All right. And we're going to pull these in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna come in here on the bottom and give it a nice shape there on the bottom. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and smooth some of these shapes out. Now, it doesn't always like need to look perfectly real or whatever. Um, as long as it looks nice and clean, you're good to go. And there's a little bit of a wave here on the bottom too, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that wave by pushing some of these teeth on the bottom down. All right, now we're gonna pull these down a little bit as well. There we go. Just kind of making room for our front two teeth. All right, and almost done. Basically, I'm just moving the top section of this to the right and moving the bottom to the left. And we're doing the same thing with the other tooth, um, just in the other way. All right, cool. And that looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna zoom in here. Let's just hit Command Plus a few times. And I'm going to make sure that the edges here are not, um, I don't need any sharp edges, right? So let's go ahead and make our size a little bit smaller there. All right, and we're going to push in that edge just a little bit. Push this down. And then we're going to go ahead and push this tooth in there. And then push that one in there as well. Kind of close up the gap between those two. All right, and make it look nice and natural. All right, let's just zoom out. That looks pretty dang good. We have a little bit of a gap there, but that's not a problem to take care of. Um, we can actually just hit OK. Good to go there. So let's look at the before and the after. Quite a bit straighter. And here, what we're going to do is create a new layer, zoom in. And now with our clone stamp tool, I'm just going to clone stamp inside of the tooth, and we'll just close that gap down. All right, and if you want to do any more shaping, you can just do that by clone stamping the bottom of the tooth in as well. All right. There we go. And we have perfectly straight teeth. Now, you know what? I think they could use a little bit more adjusting. No problem. Let's just make a new layer, make a stamp visible. So that's going to be Shift, Option, Command, E for that stamp visible. This just makes every all of your changes on a new layer. Let's go ahead back into our liquify tool. And this time I'm going to zoom out. And instead of looking at the teeth so close, we're just going to look at them a little bit farther away. And I'm going to go ahead and start pulling them this way just a little bit. All right. There we go. Pretty 
brilliant. Make that one a little bit bigger. All right, cool, and that looks good. Let's hit okay there. All right, so there's the before. You can see they're kind of angled that way. Did my best to kind of push them back the other way. All right, cool. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that again because I, I think I shrunk the teeth a little bit too much in that process there. All right, there we go. All right, so pretty much just pushing and pulling there. All right, so there's the before and the after. All right, brilliant, that looks great. Let's go ahead and group those and check out their before and the after with that. Brilliant. Okay, now we're moving on to our next photo. And what we're gonna do here is a little bit of coloring and whitening. So coloring basically happens in a couple stages. You can see the color here on this part of the teeth is like regular <laughs> teeth color, whatever. But as it gets closer to the gum line, it starts to get a little bit more like yellowy and change color. I mean, the teeth are three dimensional objects, so they're not gonna be one flat shape through the whole thing. Um, so. When we're working with the color of our teeth, we have to take that change of color into account. I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here when whitening and um, coloring teeth, I'm gonna create a solid color adjustment layer. All right, we'll just do a red, doesn't really matter. Now, in this case, I'm gonna change our layer blend mode from normal down here to color. All right, so it's changing the color of our entire document. You can see we don't want that. Um, we just going to click on our layer mask and hit control or command I that's going to invert that layer mask All right, and now Basically, I just want to paint over top of our teeth With the brush tool so I'm painting white on my layer mask right now, and this is Just allowing this layer To be visible wherever I paint which in this case is over top of the teeth now, if you make a little mistake or whatever, it's not a big deal. You can always just paint black and paint that away. That's the beauty of layer masks. You're never stuck. You always have the option to go back. All right, there we go. Going a little bit faster now, a little bit more sloppy. I'll come back and clean that up in just a second. All right, let's just paint black over here on the gum line. All right, there we go. So those are our teeth covered. Now, obviously that's not the right color. Um, so what we're gonna do is double click here on our color. All right, and we wanna choose kind of like an orange color, but this is way too saturated. So we're gonna go to the left here and then go up to the top a little bit. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good there. So we're gonna hit okay, and we can see it did a nice job coloring the teeth. They're not perfect just yet. Okay, we'll still work with our color. You know what? A little bit less color, I think, is what we need. There we go, before and after there. But I do want a little bit of the curvature to show in. Right now they look fake, right? Because there's no, it's like, that, that just doesn't look real at all. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use blend if, to make this layer not visible where the underlying layer is darker. That's gonna give a little bit more of the underlying color here. So let's double click here on the color fill layer. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag this from the left to the right. All right, and as I go, it's gonna to start to bring in more of that color. You can see, there we go. You can see all the color. Bring it right to about there. And it's bringing in some of our color from the underlying teeth which makes it look a lot more real. All right, let's hit okay. See the before and the after with that. Let's just zoom in. So before, this is before the blend if, you can see it's all the same color. After, it's got some color variation in it. Makes it look a lot more real. And we still have our teeth colored really nicely. You can see there's the before and the after with that. Great. Now we can do a little bit of whitening. We're gonna do that with a curves adjustment layer. Let's grab our curves adjustment layer. Okay, 
I'm going to actually use the same layer mask. If I hold Alt or Option and click on the layer mask, you can see that's the layer mask for my color fill. If I hold Alt or Option and click and drag from this layer mask to this other one, just like that, it's going to replace the layer mask. So I don't have to make another layer mask. I just use the exact same one. And now my curves, we're just going to bring up our darks just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's double click on this curves adjustment layer. I'm going to hold Alt or Option to say don't be visible where the underlying layer is darker. All right. And depending on how bright your teeth need to be, that's how far you can go on it. I recommend not going overboard on these. Like, you know, you can make teeth that look like that, but chances are they're not going to look real. You'll, you'll come back to the image in like a month or two and be like, oh my God. What was I thinking? Um, so get it to the point where you think it looks good and then maybe back it down a little bit. I tend to do that and it helps out. All right, and it's always a good idea to use the zoom out test. Does it still look good zoomed out? All right, let's go ahead and group those and let's check our before and the after. Fixing color and brightening up the teeth. Beautiful. All right, let's see our side-by-side -side images. There's our color, and here we have our shape. All right, and when it comes to teeth, that's pretty much all we're dealing with. Okay, guys, that's the end of this section. We'll see you in the next section.